In this video, I will tell you how I survived the hottest recorded day in the UK and also COVID-19 at the same time. But to be honest, I almost didn't. So I kept hearing about like everyone else living in the UK, we kept hearing about, oh, the hottest day is approaching. This is going back last week, the 18th and 19th of July. The hottest day was forecast to be on the 19th, which was on a Tuesday. Okay, so, uh, but the heat wave uh, was predicted to start on a Monday. Okay, so I step out on a Monday, I'm going to work. And to be honest with you, um, I felt it was all right, okay? Okay, so I have lived in the Middle East. I've lived in Dubai. I've lived in Saudi Arabia. So for me, uh, I was feeling a little bit cocky, you know, going out thinking, oh, this is nothing. To be honest, it was it was a nice morning. Uh, there was a nice breeze blowing. This is on a Monday, okay, on the 18th, just at the beginning uh, of the heat wave. So, you know, I was feeling really cocky. I, you know, even as I went into work, I was saying, oh, I was telling everybody, oh, this is nothing. I think people are just exaggerating and just hyping this up. And it's actually going to be all right. It's not going to be a big deal. OK, so this is how I was feeling at the at the beginning. All right. However, when I did step out in the afternoon into the sunshine, into the heat, it felt different. The heat was different at this point, okay? Yes, uh, now I did think, well, this actually does seem similar to when I used to live in the Middle East. It does seem like a bit of an oven and, uh, you know, it's not looking good, all right? So at the same time, I had been having this cold, this sort of sore throat and uh, runny nose which I just, I shrugged off as nothing. I didn't think it's going to be anything big. But now, at this stage, it was developing into like a proper flu. So I was thinking, oh no, man, I don't want to spend uh, the next couple of days, the most uncomfortable days that we're going to have ever, uh, and also have a proper flu. Of course, later on, I found out that the flu was actually COVID. I got, I got tested a couple of days later and it was in fact COVID. So um, I made a video about uh, tips, you know, about how to survive the heat, you know, all these tips that were meant to be really useful. Uh, but to be honest with you, were they really useful? No, they were useless, weren't they? Yeah. Um, first thing was, you know, you have to uh, close uh, the, the curtain so the heat stays outside. Yeah, right, okay. Uh, that is only going to help up to a certain extent, okay. After that, it, you know, it, it doesn't help. Then I also got these crappy little fans, you know. I thought I was sort of preparing for this. So I bought some uh, little fans, uh, some really good ones, you know, so-called really good fans that were meant to sort of relieve me during this time and again they were not up to the task okay so yeah it wasn't looking good okay my cold was developing to a proper flu it was getting hotter it was getting uncomfortable and I was thinking oh no what am I going to experience now now it's a Tuesday so on this day, okay, uh, my COVID hits hard. I'm full-blown sick now, okay. High temperature, uh, I couldn't sleep all night. Uh, I was really sick. And then I also have to look forward to it being the hottest. By the way, it's a really long day in the UK, okay. Sun sets at around 10 and it's light outside until 11. So it just seemed as if it's going to be one of those really oppressive, difficult times in my life. And indeed it was, you know, it really was shockingly hot outside and I was shockingly hot as well, suffering from COVID, I was sweating it out. I tried all these tips with the fan and the ice, you know, as in my video, put the ice in front of the fan and, you know, and that was also a total waste of time, fam. 
that did not work, okay? And uh, so all I was doing was just sweating it out, suffering, and just hoping that it will all end soon, you know? When will it be evening when I can finally open the windows, draw the curtains, and let the, <laughs> the air in, okay? So, okay, so that time came, it was evening. All right, let's open the windows, let the air in. I opened the window, and fam, there is no air, okay? It's just heat. I couldn't, be, I was shocked at how hot it was that evening, okay, on Tuesday, the hottest day. I've never, ex I've lived here all my life, and I've never experienced that, okay? It was like a desert. It was as if uh, our uh, lush green land had turned into a desert. I, I couldn't believe it. Plus I was suffering. I was got I had a fever. Okay. Got COVID. I'm burning up and it's burning outside. What the actual f Thank God, okay, the heat wave went away, okay. The, the temperatures it cooled down the very next day. Thank God. If it had if the if these conditions had lasted a few more days, I think I would have ended up in a, in emergency. I would have had to call 999 get an ambulance or something i'm telling you okay it was really bad all right and i don't want to hear i know some people are gonna say oh come on in other countries it's 40 plus all the time yeah that's because they're used to it they are climatized to those conditions they have infrastructure in place to deal with that um okay uh the, these temperatures are normal okay in the middle east the uh, in parts of Asia and Africa, uh, Death Valley, okay, in de uh, uh, if you live in Death Valley, if you live in the Middle East, this is normal, okay, they've got the infrastructure, they've got the mechanisms in place to deal with that, they're used to it over there, in the UK, in, in, in England, we are not used to that, okay, that is not normal, okay, even when it gets 30, it becomes a bit unbearable, but 40, Get the hell out of here, man. No ways. No way. Please. We do not want to experience this heat ever again in the UK. Please. Never, ever again. Also, uh, I will never complain about rain ever again in my life. Okay. Rain is, rain is a beautiful thing. When it rains, it's like a mercy from God. So we should be grateful, we should be thankful about the weather in this country. The normal weather that we have in this country, okay? Okay, now about my COVID, okay? I, I This is another thing. Um, I think I, I've had COVID, this is my third or second or third time that I've had COVID. And I've had my two vaccinations and a booster. So three jabs, I've had three jabs. And I still got really unwell. Granted, okay, I never... It never got to the stage where I felt, oh, I have to go in. No, never. But it was a really nasty illness, okay? Fair enough. I understand that you can still get it even after getting the jabs. You can still catch COVID. I understand that. But was it, is, wasn't the idea behind getting all these jabs was that when you do get it, you will not fall that sick. Just you know, I don't get that. You know, have you had COVID recently? Have you had it for a second time? Have you had all your jabs? How did it go for you? You just let me know. Anyway, there you go. I survived it all, and please never again. I don't want to ever experience that ever again. Okay. Um, by the way, I'm gonna be starting some classes in August. Okay, if you're interested, drop me an email. Um, I'm go I'm gonna be focusing my classes on intermediate up intermediate we're going to be doing reading vocabulary and speaking if you're interested uh get in touch email me and please my subscribers help a brother out fam press that bell icon and watch my videos and like it and comment help someone out man i've been through a lot recently okay <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Thank you very much. Keep safe. Keep cool. And see you next time. Bye-bye.